Have you previously played King's Quest V? Hello, and welcome to the channel. That was quite the introduction from King's Quest V. So the intro is like the exact same as King's Quest VI, but like a little Warning. bit worse quality. Oh my gosh, it's still going. It may be necessary for information or clues to complete this game. Please be sure to check your inventory if you decide to skip. Okay, we're gonna watch the cartoon. And then we'll talk about the game. But long story short, I have chosen King's Quest V as the game that I'm going to play next. Not a good thing. Is that, was that the cartoon? Was that the cartoon with all the vital information that I needed? <laughs> this is a very delightful opening credits though. I think I was reading about the game before this and I think it was saying that this is the last one that's kind of like fully directed by Roberta Williams. Like everything is written and like styled and 100% by her. And then six is, um, there's other creative influences. But yeah, I'm going backwards for the King's Quest series, apparently. <laughs> this is what, this is, I don't know. This is what I wanted to play next. No one suggested this. <laughs> but this is delightful. I'm already enjoying it. out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Well, don't stop now. Go on. He conjured up a terrible whirlwind that swirled faster and faster around the castle. With another incantation, Mordak then caused the wind to draw the castle up into the sky and out of sight. Oh, it was something to see, all right. What an ever-loving hell is happening? <laughs> Why? Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What could he have against me and my family? That I don't know. Ooh, I only know that it was Mordak who took your castle and your family. Oh. Well, that's an important I detail. You. My employer also happens to be a wizard, which is why I recognized Mordak. Ooh, unlike Mordak, though, my employer is a very good wizard. His name is Crispin Arthur, but we all call him Crispin for short. The only problem is, you see... This, this freaking owl. Is this real? Like... What is happening? <clears throat> anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. The only problem is that Crispin is getting on in years and tends to be a bit forgetful. I don't know. This doesn't sound as if it would work. Oh, sure it would. Why? Crispin is a very qualified wizard. One of the best. He just gets a little forgetful now and again. That's all. Now, where is it? Ooh, I know I brought it with me. Aha! Here it is! What is that? Well, it is my opinion that you don't stand a chance against the likes of Mordak. Ooh, excuse me for saying, Your Majesty, but you don't have a choice. 
You must come with me. I'm sure Kirsten can help you. I just realized this king is so muscular. <laughs> like, why is this king so muscular? <laughs> This is the most ridiculous thing. I zero percent expected that. Up here. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. Follow me. No, it's not that music. It's also worth mentioning, it's like a million degrees in here. <sighs> there it is! Down here! Come on! How is he okay. flying and pointing? Whatever. That's the weirdest thing that's happened. And we're dead. Great. Ooh, looks like the fairy dust just wore off. F you, owl. Where have you been? I've been calling for you. Also, Crispin the wizard. Crispin? There's so much to unpack well, here. Well, what have we here? <sighs> A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense sitting around like a wet dog. Thanks, Crispin. Wasn't my choice. It's your freaking owl. Go into the house and pour each of us a nice hot cup of tea. Ooh, aye, aye, Crispin. <sighs> the Society of Wizards has always taken a dim view of Mordak and his abuse of his power. Why he's even been put on suspension a few times. It never seems to do any good, though. Crispin, why would Mordak want to take my family or castle? What did we ever do to him? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. Mordak is a very unpredictable wizard. I've never understood that evil mind of his. Ooh, I thought perhaps you could help his majesty, Crispin. That's why I brought him here. Well, let me see now. I used to be a very powerful wizard at one time, you know. But I've gotten a little rusty lately. <laughs> a little rusty? That's quite enough from you, Cedric. I can't. Oh, yes, sir, Kristen. Sir. <laughs> I can't with this owl. <sighs> I don't know what I have that would be of much use to you. Most of my wizard stuff is pretty old and worn out. But let's see what I can find. This is absolutely fascinating. No, I mean, in, in your own time, at your own pace. You don't have anywhere to be. <laughs> what is actually happening? That won't do. 
he has to walk across this room again. Don't even. Don't even. It might work. Here, eat this. What is that? That's an old piece of magical white snake I had left over from last year. With it, you'll be able to communicate with the natural and animal world. Sure. You find that quite helpful. Sure. Here's my old wand. I don't even know if it works anymore. Most of its power may be gone. You should know that wands are like pets. They've got to get to know you before they'll work for you. Just treat it with care and respect, and hopefully it will do something for you. You'd better get going, my boy. No telling what that confounded Morak could be up to. You go with him. Confound it. Show him the way. Ooh. Yes, you no. don't be such a coward. Now go on. You'd better get started. Thank you, sir. I appreciate all you've done for me. Some of these voice lines. Now I take it back. All of these voice lines <laughs> are something else. Wow. Ooh, I suggest we visit the town first. How about it, Your Majesty? Please don't call me Your Majesty, Cedric. It's much too formal. I'd like it if you'd just call me Graham. I'd be delighted to, Graham. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, the town. You might be able to find some supplies there. It's just over a little hill to the south, not too far. Well, then, let's be on our way, Cedric. Okay. It's <laughs> a lot to unpack here. <laughs> so, yeah, the game just kind of threw me in there without really, um,. Without really giving me a chance to s stop. It didn't let me answer any of its questions before playing that whole thing. But yeah, we're doing King's Quest V. Um, I did King's Quest VI earlier on the channel. It was a lot of fun. Um, people said that that was the best game, so... <laughs> um, yeah, not really... Yeah, not really sure what to expect on this one. So I did do a little bit of research, and the only reason that I found why this game might be a less good game is because apparently you have an annoying owl companion and apparently he's the worst and i think <laughs> that that detail is almost what convinced me to play this because i'm so excited to hate this owl and i did not realize how quickly that would happen like oh my gosh these voice lines um but yeah i guess i don't really have anything Really to say about why else I picked this game. It's what I wanted to play. No one suggested it, but I wanted to play it. So, meh. Okay, so there's nothing on this screen that I think we need to worry about. Um, so let's. Looks like we have walk. Look at. Impatiently, Cedric waits for Graham. Impatiently, Cedric waits for Graham. Have I talked to Cedric? Having other things on his mind, Cedric doesn't appear to be in the mood to talk right now. Oh, Cedric doesn't want to talk right now. How fascinating. Nestled among the trees of the forest sits the wizard Crispin's worn but cozy cottage. So I kind of, I mean, I hate to say this, I kind of want to listen to the owl and just go to the town. Um, but let's the look at what... The wand doesn't seem to have any vitality left in it. Doesn't seem to have any vitality. Okay, let me just... Okay, and I can use it if I need to. Cool. Okay, now that's just gonna tell me what these buttons do. Maybe, I don't know. Select this icon to close this window. Okay. Um, so if I wanted to use it, I would uh, just do that and then like... Graham boom. gives the wand a good shake, but it only fizzles and dies. Fizzles and dies. Okay, cool. And then I think that's everything we need. So I'm going to... Um, can I scroll? What's my... Okay, right click to um change what's going on over there. I'm just gonna walk around. Yeah, I've never I've never played this. I don't know if I made that clear. Um, but this is all brand new to me. But I liked the art style when I looked at it when I was researching what I wanted to do. Can I double click to make this go any faster? Um, 
enter at your own risk. All right, Cedric, which way are we going? Back to the east is Tristan's house. Okay, back to the east is Crispin's house? Is that what Cedric he said? Cedric seems to be quietly contemplating their current situation, and so is not inclined to indulge in conversation. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go this way. So this way is back to the wizard, then there seems to be a south and a west. But I kinda, it looked like it came from the south, but I apparently came from the east. Okay, the speed's really up up there, so I'm gonna go even more and see if that doesn't... Oh, okay, that's much better. <laughs> Thank you, Graham. I'm playing the uh, good old games version, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. So whatever they have given me is what I am playing. This tree is fascinating. Oh, it's a weeping willow. Oh, I get it. A graceful weeping willow tree grows beside a small Ooh. pond created from her tears? In her branch-like arms, she clutches a beautiful harp as a child would a cherished toy. So this is going to be like salt water, and that's good to know. Uh, miss... Okay, so it matters where you click. Yes? You can talk? Why, of course I can. What did you expect? Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. What's wrong? Everything's wrong, can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. I'm really a princess. You see, my fiance and I were walking through this wood when a nasty old witch came along and was instantly charmed by my handsome prince. When he naturally refused her advances, she jealously banished him to a faraway land and turned me into a tree. Then she stole my heart. Stole your heart? Yes. She turned my heart to gold and took it away with her. The only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Now, all I have to cheer me up is my harp. It's quite magical, you know. It plays the sweetest music you've ever heard. Now please, leave me alone in my sorrow. All right, so it seems like I want to get her heart back so I can probably maybe even get that lyre at some point. Or harp or whatever you want to call it. There is, as far as I am aware, no option to have subtitles, but let me know if that is possible because I would be curious to have them. Until then, I will try very hard not to talk over everything and I will probably keep the game volume quite high. <sighs> I hate that I want to talk to Cedric in every screen. Oh, what a sad song she plays. Let's try to cheer her up, Graham. Okay, we're doing this. Here I stand near my pool of tears. Here I stay through all my years. Okay. Um. Oh, more gypsies. Also, police sirens in the background. of an outdated view i think but sounds good i mean i'll talk the to them man doesn't appear to be the conversational sort can i go in is the voice actor someone i know it Edward almost sounds you one gold coin to see Madamushka. oh okay so there's someone that i can see yes yeah, the voice actor someone i should recognize it's very very it's like a bargain a leonard a pot of stew bubbles over a small campfire near the gypsy wagon yeah, it's like a budget letter. A large anyway. ox, tied to the gypsy's wagon, peacefully munches on grass. Okay, while I have nothing to, like, work towards yet, I'm gonna just keep exploring. Ooh, an anthill. Or a termite colony. A colony of large ants parade up and down a huge anthill, built ants. amid some scrubby bushes. Mm, scrubby bushes. Cedric perches safely on a scrubby bush above the anthill and watches the activity below. Oh, there's nothing but a hot dry desert for the west. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. Oh, if you insist on going, I'll wait for you here. 
Okay. Oh, so Cedric won't go with me if I go west. I'll go. I'll go east. No, no. Ants. This is a big problem. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this owl? Can we go? No. No. He has a gnomish hat and a gnomish beard. I'll look at him first. An old grandfather gnome sits contentedly on an old stump and smokes a large pipe while watching his grandson at play. A young gnome happily plays with an exquisite marionette. Excuse me, sir. I want to see the tree up there. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where I want it. it. It's grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I don't suppose it could be bought. If it could, the price would be very steep. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, you know me and my grandson be. Also, I am royalty, but I guess I don't have any money. I just have this wand. Um, so, I forgot to mention... Well, that's so what I'm thinking about it. So King Graham, that's Alexander's father. So in five we play as Graham, then in six we play as Alexander. And then Mordak is also the villain in the sixth game. So it seems like that's a, a repeat. Sorry, my phone went off. Okay, um... The entrance to the small house is through a crudely constructed door. I want to go in this small house, but I feel like... Yeah, I don't like trying to trust within in my house. <laughs> His accent is fascinating. I'll talk to the son while we're here. Graham attempts to speak to the young gnome, but the boy seems rather. to be very shy and doesn't answer. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'm not gonna talk to Cedric. Ooh, this looks like a town. I will talk to Cedric here. Back down the road to the east, you will run into the bakehouse. The bakehouse. Is that where it was? No. Um, the Swarthy Hog Inn. Let's go. I don't know if I have to walk through doors or select them to go in. Oh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. Okay. It's a charming music. Gentlemen, please. I'm unsure where to click. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm gonna to talk to that dog. What Diana's is happening? Bull ain't got no more rooms. Hey boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Oh, what? Oh. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bonds. Don't worry, Graham. The innkeeper will soon put you out of your misery. No. This happens to me every time. Where I'm like, oh, I'll just explore forever. And then I forgot that I have to save before things happen. Woohoo! Technically nothing's happened though. I've just done some exploring at a faster speed. Please and thank you. Graham, watch out! Wait. A in a snake. I didn't go this direction. Crap. Um. Um. I'm gonna go this way. I guess we're. I, I hope that um, talking to people doesn't unlock things, and that just remembering that I talk to people is good enough. Uh, excuse I'll go me, back young and talk man. To them. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. I was wondering if there was anything wrong. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, there is. I've been searching everywhere for my fiance. She's a beautiful well, princess with a tree. long golden tresses, fetching blue eyes, Probably. and smooth, creamy skin. Have Probably you the tree. Seen her anywhere about? No, sorry. I haven't seen anyone like that. 
That's what I figured. No one has seen her. I bet that a witch who lives in the dark forest had something to do with her disappearance. That's a good data point. I'll keep an eye out for her. If witch I see lives her, I'll in let her dark know you're looking for her. I would appreciate that. Well, I guess I'd better get back to looking for her. I'm not ever going to find her just sitting around here. Thanks for your concern. Nope. What is happening in here? What a wonderful bluebird. It could almost make Graham happy again if it wasn't for his family. <laughs> what a bizarre set of like if you lines for that. South, you will find the town bakehouse. South is the town bakehouse. That's where I want to be. Maybe. I don't know. That's where I was. So that's where I was just. So I was on this other one because I was. Yeah. No, we're just gonna go. No, we're gonna save. For once. Every single save is Hannah. Okay. Let's go in. Ooh, I'll wait for you here, Graham. Yep. I will save before entering any establishment now. The bakehouse. Oh, and there's a your poor red cat. Doing, William? Oh, she hasn't been doing too well lately. But my brother and I help out whenever we can. Thanks for asking, Amanda. Austin, keep your fingers out of that pie. The pies look lovely. I think I'll take one. Yes, they were just made fresh this morning. Here you go. How about the one yes, your son was this just will fingering? Be a fine dessert for our dinner tonight. Let's go home, Austin. I apologize for my <laughs> poor choice of words on that one. Also, this is a new icon. I assume this is a loading icon, but we are. Here's that's a loading icon. Welcome hey. to our bakehouse, traveler. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful, but today we've got a special uncustard pie. Just one silver coin each, but take your time. Let me know when you're ready. One silver coin and take my time. Delicious, mouth watering custard pies lining the tables and countertop attract Graham's eyes. And nose. I'm gonna talk to the cat. The cat doesn't appear to like Graham, much less answer him. The cat doesn't look very friendly at all. Nah. Everything looks so delicious, it's hard to decide what to buy. <laughs> Everybody has that problem, but what a problem to have. Those custard pies look most delicious. Yes, they're made from a recipe handed down from our dear mama and her mama before her. Hmm, it's still hard to decide, though. This is well, the most wildly unnatural. Time, there's no hurry. This is the most unnatural dialogue ever, but what I just realized, I'm gonna keep pounding my desk loudly, is that this King Graham was in some 90s, like, Hoyle card game, you know, like H O Y L E. Hoyle, he was in the card game, he was like a playable character, and I remember him from that. I remember him from that, but I've never played the game. Pick it up, pick it up. Hmm. His brother is too busy to chat with Graham. Okay, there's still a pie. Would you like a pie, sir? Well, yes, actually, I would. That'll be one silver coin, then. Let me see if I have one. Well, let me know if you do. Just weird dialogue. Also, I hate that I can see Cedric. <sighs> okay. Baker Brothers Bakehouse. Oh, I get it. Because their last name's Baker, and they bake. I kind of want to see what's up north. So don't go in there. What's here? This is a side entrance of the quaint country inn. Hmm. This did just save. I might save again. See if I can't. I'm just curious what happens. The side door is locked. Okay. Solid, and then there's a barn back here that I haven't really investigated. If I kind of want to explore, he says, flying at the bees. 
Cedric seems to be quietly contemplating their current situation, and so is not inclined to indulge in conversation right now. There's the right. termites up there. Um, when he says stay away from the bees, does that not mean walk past them? Oh, I can pick that up. Graham bends down and picks up the large stick from the ground. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna walk over here. So Ooh, that. There's nothing but a hot fry desert to the west. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. Bandits. Ooh, you insist on going. I'll wait for you here. Okay, let's see. Um, this looks uninviting. Well, so let me. I was just starting to get concerned. Don't. Oh, skipped over that. <laughs> on accident. I'm sure we'll hear that chunk of dialogue again. <laughs> Super positive. Okay, so we have the inn, the bakehouse, and then we have the, um, there's a the forest. I think we, we've technically been north of there, so there's nothing new there. I do need to go back and talk to the gnomes again and talk to the tree again. Suddenly, frantic squeakings alert Graham to a mangy cat chasing a terrified rat. Too yep. late. The poor rat is already in the clutches of the wily cat, who now runs quickly away. Too late. I'm tempted to chase that cat. We're going there. I'm gonna go in the bakery again, just to see if um the cat looks any different. You. Yeah, you 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 wait, you wait, Cedric. Uh, no cat seems similar. Welcome back to our bakehouse, traveler. Of course, all of our wares are wonderful, but. Don't forget our special on custard pie. Yeah, no, you've Just mentioned one the silver coin each, but take your time. Let me know when you're ready. Yep. Custard pies, one silver Graham each. You can see the bakehouse kitchen through the partially open Dutch door. Mmm, the wonderful smells of the bakehouse set Graham's stomach to rumbling and his mouth to watering. I want to look at the cat. Mmm. Mm. Graham can see the bakehouse kitchen through the. Graham can. Graham can. The Baker brothers seem to have a pet. A large, mangy cat. So that did not change anything with the cat. I'm gonna keep going this way. Oh, wait, no, I haven't been here. <laughs> oh, I was nor. Okay. I'm very much getting it. Is that Cedric? Hi, Cedric. If you're going into town, I'll just wait for you here. I had a nasty run-in with a big dog once, and I feel much safer out here. Yeah, you do that. Fascinating music. Nice day, isn't it? Lovely day. How goes it with you, good fellow? Not well, I'm afraid. The oh, phone wagon's always giving me trouble. Can I help you in any way? Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. All right, then. Good luck. Thanks. With this wagon, I'm going to need it. Taylor. A small toy shop fronts the town's cobblestone street. Toy shop? Um, cool. I guess go to the tailor. See what's what? Oh. May I help you, sir? Can we close that? Does that need to does that need to be like that? You're gonna get dressed anytime? Talking to yourself again, Graham? I'm interested in buying Thank something you. here. Oh, I like that Let cape. Show you some things. I want that. Yeah. A fine that. piece of cloth. With this material I can make you beautiful shirts. There sure. isn't a more beautiful piece of fabric to be found anywhere. With this, I Doubt. can make you the finest trousers you've ever had. Okay. Well, what do you think? Well, right now I'm just looking. Thanks anyway. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, I'm just here to help. The young man is too busy with another customer to be bothered by Graham. I don't like this at all. In the corner of the shop, draped casually over a tailor's form, Graham sees a thick, fur-lined cloak. 
At the back of the shop, Graham notices a dressing room in which a rude, finicky customer tries on many items of fine clothing. The rude customer doesn't care to talk to Graham. Makes sense. Well, I don't want to talk to him. Okay, so we have a tailor. Um, I don't think I tried talking to her, but whatever. So the wagon... I already forget what's going Come on with that. In. Look around. Let me yep. know if you're interested in anything. The accent's very wildly. I love it. This is a fine little toy shop you have here. You must be very proud. Danke, son. I've worked very hard at it over the years. But you know, you need to really love it. And I do. Are most of these toys your creations? Yeah, most of them. But not all. Some my son made. Some I bought. Some I traded for. You're very talented. Danke, danke. Well, let me know if I can help you. Okay. Very German. Graham notices a strong little sled hanging on a side wall. I do the notice shipment of carving wood hasn't come in yet. What should we do? If it's not in by tomorrow, I'll send you to the sawmill. Okay, Papa? <laughs> Graham notices a strong little sled. I'm ready. Okay, yeah, mine, darling. This is so uncomfortable. Can I keep this doll? I don't really like her. Okay. <laughs> no. All right, Grandpa. Okay, sorry. I'll take care of her. I was clicking furiously to get this to move along, and then I click through dialogue. I don't know if I have to. Why do I suddenly have to click to go through dialogue? That was so weird. <laughs> the little girl is more interested in your doll. She pays no attention to Graham. Okay. We're just doing some basic walkthroughs here. We're not really... I see the fish. We're just kind of trying to get a feel for what's, um... I don't know what I'm doing right now. hidden at the end of the street sits a small shoe shop. Shoe shop. Okay, let me just keep walking. So far, the only, like, quest... Oh, I guess I'm in the shoe shop. I was going to go look that around path, if but... you want, but we don't have any shoes to sell you right now. Okay. We sold our last finished pair yesterday. Our business ain't doing so good anymore. Okay. We're getting too old to keep trying. Is there anything I can do to help? Life story, jeez. There ain't nothing you can do short of I... buying us out. But like I said, if you want to look around, feel free. Okay, thanks. That was way too much information. Business doesn't seem to be so good for the shoemaker and his wife. There isn't even one pair of shoes for sale, and the old couple look tired and worn out. A skinny old dog lies down on the hard floor Aww. of the shoe shop. The old shoemaker wearily hammers tiny nails in a shoe sole. He doesn't even seem to notice Graham. You don't have any shoes for sale, huh? No, That's she said that. Right. No shoes at all. We're making a pair right now, but it'll take a while. We're not as fast as we used to be. Oh, that's okay. My own boots should carry me through the rest of my journey. Sorry, son. We're doing the best we can. Thanks. Thanks, team. Okay. What happens if I walk out here? Nothing. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I didn't seem to be able to walk out the other way. Let me talk to Cedric. Oh, if you follow this road along the river, you'll come to the town bakehouse. You might find something delicious. <laughs> I mean, useful there. It's weird. Everything's weird. we within a small pen. A spotted cow quietly chews her cud. That's nice. What if I talk to the cow? Unfortunately, the cow doesn't have anything to say. Her mouth is too full of cud. That's why. That's why the cow can't talk to me. Too busy eating. Okay, I'll do a little bit more exploring. 
Okay, there's that snake. Oh, I could have just gone straight south. Wait, so what is a this? A worn dirt path wanders through a thick wood, alive with the sounds of many creatures. Between the trees, to the east, Graham can save. see the outline of a great mountain range. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go and see what that snake will do to me. Yep. That wasn't wise, Graham. He was... Oh, I want to listen to the rest of that. Hold on. That wasn't wise, Graham. He who speaks with forked tongue should never be trusted. Okay. So, Satan comparison. A worn dirt path wanders through it. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could look at those. Um, yep, yeah, let's go up. Then this should take us back to where we started. Beautiful. And so I guess the last time I must have gone this way. Yeah. Okay, what's this? An old hollow log lies in a small clearing before the gloomy forest. Okay. The old log doesn't look interesting enough to bother with. Sure. Beyond the warning sign, the gnarled trees seem to close in, entangling and confusing all who dare enter here. The sign seems self-explanatory enough. Enter at your own risk. What about the stump? What about these flowers? Okay, I'm gonna save. Even though I have just saved. And I'm going to walk into the swamp. Ooh, no! Ooh, I'm not going in there! Can't you read the sign? Come on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. Go oh, if you want to. I'll wait here. Fine by me. Already just These need to pick toads up. look too oh. repulsive to catch. Ooh. Numerous Ooh. roots, rocks, and ruts choke the narrow forest path, which branches either to the right or to the left. Let's go right. Right looks happier. Look at all these bright colors. Oh. That looks like... Yep. Okay. That old witch caught Graham totally off guard. Yep. Got turned into a frog. I'm gonna go left and see what happens. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah. Go. Yep. I'm going on my own. Everything's fine, Cedric. Okay. So far, I am not a frog. It's a nice looking tree. And I'm a frog. That old witch caught Graham totally off guard. Frog Graham is great. Okay. Have I looked at everything then? Um, I might have done the whole map. Because we've already talked to her. But I'll talk to her again. I'll skip through it, though. She jealously banished him to a faraway land and turned me into a tree. Wait, so the witch banished the guy. Stole your heart? So that's not yes. the same guy in the forest, but I might still go back to him. Took it away with and see if he um the only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Accepts this now. information. All I have to cheer me up is my heart. It's I can't skip magical, through her. You know? It plays the sweetest music you've ever heard. Oh. Is this a new? Bully of a dog terrorizes the poor ants as he playfully digs at their large anthill. So just walking around, I'm getting new stuff. Um, the dog doesn't seem to be a friendly sort at all. Oh well, yeah. The dog is more interested in the anthill than in Graham. So I can't do anything? If the owl makes the same oh, joke again. Ooh, yeah, that's a mean dog. I have literally not- Oh, I have a stick. I was like, I haven't picked up anything. But I picked up a stick. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm King Anthony the Great. May I ask who you are? Why, certainly. It's hard I'm to understand. I'm King Graham of Daventry, and this is my friend, Cedric. 
We're seeking mm. a way to cross the great mountains to the ocean on the other side. That is a yes. very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider. But if you shall not, in return for rescuing our home from that flea bitten cur, I wish to offer you our help, if perchance you may ever need it. Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate your kind offer. We look forward to meeting you again. A colony of large ants parade up and down a huge anthill built amid some scrubby bushes. The ants don't seem to take kindly to uninvited trespassing. I'm invited. The ants are too busy to engage in conversation with Graham. Okay. So now I have use of the anthill, whatever that means. Okay. Um, cool. And the dog went off that way, but I'm not going to chase him. So we got the gypsy and that and that and that. And then I got the gnomes. Okay. Wait, I do... When, did I get the stick in this save? I already forget. Okay. I, I suppose so. I thought I got in the other one. Don't go in there. I shouldn't look in there. But otherwise, I think I'm basically explored. And I've solved one puzzle. <laughs> I have picked up an item and I have used it. And I'm calling that pointing and clicking. So this was a fascinating beginning. I am so excited. Cedric is actually horrible. <laughs> And it's the best part of the whole game. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how this goes. It's a, I, it's a very cute art style. Um, do you let me know if I'm able to turn on subtitles, because that would be amazing. But otherwise, I think we're good here. And yeah, I will see you in the next video for King's Quest V. <laughs> Bye. What is that stuff? Just some old leftover fairy dust I've been carrying around. Ooh, it'll help you to fly.